Welcome to my review of the Makita XCU for P-Tone. Have you ever owned a Makita before? If not, you're in for a treat. I have great respect for Makita as a company, and they have earned that by consistently delivering quality products that are built to last. Makita has stated that they will continue to develop and support the older battery system as well as any 18 VLX tools that use these batteries. Plus, there is a new adapter that lets you charge your 18 VLXD and 40 VXGT batteries with the same charger. So you can continue to use your old Makita tools in conjunction with new purchases. Features you need to know at a glance. It has no gas, emissions, oil mixing or pull starts with reduced maintenance and low noise levels. Makita built out a rotor BL brushless motor direct drive system delivers power of a 32 gas chainsaw. Two 18 VLXD lithium ion batteries deliver power and performance without leaving the 18 VLXD platform. Two less chain adjustment for convenient operation and maintenance. Variable speed trigger and high chain speed, 0 3940 FPM for improved cutting performance. Adjustable automatic chain lubrication with large oil reservoir. Large oil filling port with view window allows operator to easily add and check bar oil level. Built-in LED. On-off switch with auto power off function. Automatically shuts the saw off when operation is delayed for extended battery life. Rubberized soft grip top handle is engineered for the user to more easily apply even cutting pressure. Features extreme protection technology. XPT which is engineered to provide increased dust and water resistance in harsh job site conditions. Equipped with star protection computer controls to protect against overloading, over-discharging and overheating. 3-year limited warranty on tool, battery and charger. Only use genuine Makita batteries and chargers. Overview I've talked about who this chainsaw is for and whether you should buy the bare tool or the kit. Now, let's take a look at the actual product itself. How it's built, what makes it special, etc. To start things off, this is a 16 cordless saw. Because of the bar length, it isn't too unwieldy while also being perfectly capable of felling medium-sized trees. I can picture someone carrying this on one hand while moving through thick brush because of its compact and lightweight design. Note that all 16 inches of the bar isn't available for use, about an inch is hidden behind the side cover so you get around 15 inches of usable space. That's more than enough to cut crossways through a 30-inch lug. And thanks to the high chain speed of 3,940 feet per minute, you will see performance comparable to a 32 gas saw just like Makita claims. Chain speed is essential for cutting performance, think of it as the rate limiter on how fast you can cut through a given section of wood. If you have a chainsaw with a really fast chain speed, you won't have to exert as much downward pressure while bucking lungs. Since the saw is removing material from the cut at a high rate, gravity and the weight of the saw will do most of the cutting. Torque is another aspect of a chainsaw that determines cutting performance. While a fast chain lets you slice through wood at a quick rate, lots of torque ensures that your chainsaw keeps slicing through said wood without stalling. The XCU for Z chainsaw lags behind chainsaws like the Mateen Fuel from Milwaukee in terms of torque, which means it won't perform as well in hardwood. I'm not saying the XCU for Z is BAD at cutting hardwood. Just don't expect it to chew through 20-inch slugs of green oak at high speed. But if you mostly cut wood for DIY projects or fireplaces, this Makita is more than powerful enough. It will also do an excellent job of clearing out any trees blocking your driveway after a storm. Makita's electronics are top-notch, and you get instantaneous response from the motor as soon as you pull on the trigger. It's a variable speed trigger, so you can control the rate at which the chain spins. Depending on the wood hardness and angle at which you're cutting, you might need less or more chain speed. Adjusting the speed becomes much easier when the response has zero lag or delay. This lets you make precise, air-free cuts. Apart from the excellent variable speed trigger, Makita has some really interesting proprietary technologies that elevate the user experience. The two technologies I like the most in a cordless Makita saw are the star protection and XBT. Let me explain what both of these things do. XBT Extreme Protection Extreme Protection Technology or XBT is basically Makita's way of saying hey, this product is designed to survive harsh conditions. It isn't a technology per se, rather a standard of protection built into tools to make sure they are protected from dust and water. The XBT certification informs you that your tool has a network of seals positioned strategically to prevent water and dust from entering into the electronic systems. This way, you can keep working no matter the weather condition. Even if it's pouring outside, you can take your Makita cordless chainsaw to cut some piles of firewood. 
Seam with Snow the XCU for Z chainsaw will run even if you're out in a blizzard. Are you working in a dusty job site with a bunch of sawdust flying around? Not to worry this isn't a gas saw with air filters that can get clogged up with sawdust. And on that note, you don't have to worry about swapping out filters in the middle of work since this cordless electric saw has none to begin with. Usability and Ergonomics This is a cordless saw, so all you've got to do is ensure the batteries are charged. That, and a full tank of bar all because it's impossible to run a chainsaw without lubrication for the chain. I mean, you could technically run it with zero loop but it will end up burning out the bar and chain. Not to mention or probably damaging your chainsaw's electric motor. With a chainsaw like this, you'd much rather replace the whole thing instead of going through the hassle of installing a new motor and electronics. So while there isn't any fuel to mix or filters to replace, make sure you do the bare minimum or you'll end up with a very expensive repair bill. As for the shape and weight distribution, both are on point. The rear handle is coated with a rubber grip so it feels quite comfortable to hold. Cheaper electric saws have basic plastic handles. With those, your hands can slip off if they get too sweaty. Plus, you'll feel the vibrations more with a solid plastic handle. Yes, electric and cordless chainsaws vibrate. It isn't as rough as a gas saw with a piston engine but you still need some dampening. A simple rubber grip on the handle provides adequate vibration dampening, and your gloves will provide some more dampening on top of that. The shape of the handle is ideal it isn't too long, nor is the angle too sharp. With the batteries mounted low and towards the middle, you can balance the chainsaw very well with the two-handed hold. It's easy to pivot the saw around your dominant hand, and you don't have to press down hard while cutting logs because the saw drags itself down through wood. This is due to a combination of the high chain speed and good ergonomics. Even the safety is positioned in a spot that's easily accessible, right above the grid. Instead of a thumb switch, Makita uses a lever which you're bound to depress every time you make a conscious choice to operate the saw. It stays out of your way while you're working, which is how good safety should be designed. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe this channel. And leave your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this particular model?